Hi, my name is Leon Tan, Product Marketing Manager for Cypress Semiconductors made for iPod, iPhone, and iPad solutions. I'm here today to introduce to you our latest PSOC 3 MFI Lightning Digital Audio Development Kit. The quickest way for you to get your audio and music accessories for Apple's mobile devices to market. The audio market is shifting from analog to digital audio. Whether you're looking to develop speaker docks, clock radios, or other consumer audio systems, or accessories for the music industry, like digital audio interfaces, mixers, or DJ turntables. And this digital audio kit from Cypress provides you with a very comprehensive starting point. It includes license-free reference hardware, firmware, and even a sample iOS app. Let's see what the kit is capable of. First, let me start by quickly walking you through the hardware. The kit comes with three boards and a new fourth board to support Apple's new all-digital lightning connector. The base board is where PSOC 3 resides, along with audio line-in and line-out jacks, as well as four capstans buttons and a slider. PSOC 3 can stream digital audio to and from a USB host, like a PC or Mac via this USB port, or an iPod, iPhone, or iPad via Apple's 30-pin dot connector through this MFI connectivity board. And to support Apple's new all-digital lightning connector, the kit has been upgraded and now comes with a lightning version of the MFI connectivity board. The underlying digital audio implementation running in PSOC 3 is compatible with both Lightning and 30-pin connectors. The third board is a MIDI interface expansion board. This board has two purposes. One, through this board, PSOC 3 serves as a USB to MIDI bridge between music instruments and iOS devices, PC or Mac. Two, this board is also a reference example of how to make use of the expansion hitter for your development purposes. Because of PSOC 3's flexible and programmable IOs, you can, for example, interface PSOC 3 to your DSP or digital audio amplifier of choice, Bluetooth radios, more CapSense IOs, or more audio codecs. Now let's fire up this kit and run through a few demos. Let's start with a basic audio playback demo. Connecting speakers to the line-out jack, powering up the board, and docking my iPad. Upon docking, my iPad begins to charge. The CapSense buttons and slider are mapped to audio playback controls. Play, pause. Next track and previous track. And volume control. The LCD displays track information like song title, artist name, and elapsed time. So there you have the makings of a speaker dock. PSOC 3 is not only capable of streaming digital audio out of a USB host, it also can stream digital audio in for recording, mixing, and effects. This kit supports digital audio streaming with iOS up to 24-bit audio at 48 kilohertz sampling rate. Here, I am connecting a separate audio source, this iPod Nano, to the line-in jack. This kit is compatible with any core audio or core MIDI apps. Let's use Apple's GarageBand to record an audio track from the iPod Nano. The monitor function is used by musicians and DJs to listen to the incoming track. This is a quick demo to show PSOC 3's ability to simultaneously stream digital audio into and out of a USB host. Now let's record a track. And play it back. With this feature, you can create an iPad karaoke machine, multi-track recording mixers, or digital audio interfaces to connect guitars or microphones to iOS devices. On top of digital audio streaming, this PSOC 3 powered kit is also MIDI ready. 
The MIDI expansion board provides MIDI input and output ports to interface to musical instruments and sequencers. You can use CapSense as a form of MIDI controls. CapSense sliders can replace pitch and mod wheels, or you can implement a full XY touchpad. With a click of this mode select button, the CapSense buttons are now mapped to specific music notes. Included in this PSOC 3 MFI Digital Audio Development Kit is Cypress's EA Console app to help jumpstart your development with Apple's external accessory framework for bi-directional app accessory communication and control. EA Console comes with four demos. LED, to turn on and off an LED on the kit via the app. Potentiometer and CapSense slider to display real-time position data of these two actuators onto the app. And my favorite of the four, bootloader, to deliver firmware upgrades from the iOS device to a connected accessory. This Apple certified, highly integrated, and cost-effective solution is based on Cypress's PSOC 3 programmable embedded system on chip. PSOC 3 manages Apple's proprietary MFI interface while streaming bit-perfect digital audio. With Cypress's patent-pending USB audio clock generation scheme, PSOC 3 ensures pristine audio streaming with minimal external components needed. Plus, PSOC's programmable digital logic is able to synthesize audio features like MIDI, multiple I2S interfaces for multi-channel audio, SPDIF, and more, providing you value that standard microcontrollers simply cannot match. All this while integrating Cypress's market-leading CapSense capacitive touch sensing solution to further enhance your product's user interface. PSOC 3 delivers bit-perfect digital audio between the iPod, iPhone, or iPad, and the accessories. And with the Apple Certified Development Kit, you can create digital audio MFI accessories in record time. The PSOC 3 MFI Digital Audio Development Kit is available only to licensees of Apple's MFI program through Apple's authorized MFI component distributor. For more information on Apple's MFI program, please visit developer.apple.com slash MFI. And be sure to visit www.cypress.com slash go slash MFI to learn more about Cypress's MFI solutions. Thank you for watching, and I can't wait to see your PSOC 3 powered MFI digital audio accessories in the stores.